In this video, we will see about implementing Kafka using Rust. For that, I use Kafka service from Upstash. Upstash is a serverless stack and a service provider for Kafka, Redis and Qstash. Kafka is like a producer consumer messaging system. With this, we can build distributed applications. Kafka support streaming by its producer consumer. Through this, we can build a pipeline for monitoring data or mirroring data. Many companies use Kafka for their applications. Kafka can have multiple clusters. Each cluster can have single or multiple topics. And each topic have one or more partitions. Producers and consumers are maintained on its corresponding partitions. Producers produces streams of data by means of any events. Streams of data are pushed into topic. Consumers get their data by subscribing the topics. Each consumers are, are keep tracked by group ID in its partition on the topic. A partition is a smallest storage unit in Kafka. Kafka service is provided by many companies like Apache, Confluent, Cloudera, Red Hat, Amazon, and Upstash, and many companies. Here we choose Upstash for their pricing and support, and APIs and documentations, and its easy in integration. You will be amazed on next session, that is how easy it is. To demonstrate Kafka, we have to make ready our systems. If it is Linux means, it's having built-in support for SSL, SASL. Once again, if you want to reinstall it, you can install build essentials, lib SASL and SSL in Linux. And in Windows, you have to install some additional softwares like OpenSSL, CMake and build tools. And you need to install Rust and its dependencies in all systems. In Windows, you can install OpenSSL CMake by using the display link. And you must add the path variables in your environment variables, either in system or user variable. I have shown the format and locations in the screens. To implement Kafka using Rust, we need a package RD Kafka. You can explore it on docs.rs using this library. We can create producer, consumer, and we can configure Kafka client. You can get additional configuration properties from GitHub link showed in screen. And the next package is Tokyo. It gives a synchronous environment. And the next is Futures library, which makes easy to produce futures and process futures and process streams asynchronously. We need vendor SSL feature in Windows. For that, Impel Rust GitHub page has modified version of RD Kafka. We will use this. We can use Kafka to watch database changes and streaming it. No scale databases like MongoDB uses change streams and events. SQL based databases uses change data capture technique. This is the change stream struct in MongoDB. You can receive entire stream or resume streams from where you left off in the previous monitor. In the next session, we will create an account in Upstash and create topic cluster in Kafka. Using that, we will create Rust binary application with producer and consumer.